Kirkenes, in the northeastern corner of Norway, receives tens of thousands of foreign visitors a year. And many of them are keen to explore the adjoining areas also across the border in Russia. Kirkenes' proximity to the Kola Peninsula and Mamansk is an economic boon for its 3,300 inhabitants, who, apart from tourism, benefit from the robust cross-border cargo traffic that moves between Murmansk and the Norwegian county of Sør-Varanga. However, despite this smooth, excellent cross-border cooperation, some serious environmental concerns have been raised. The biggest environmental challenge for Norway today is the pollution from the nickel plant, just some few kilometers from the Norwegian border. That leads to enormous uh, problems for the nature in this Arctic area. Uh, it makes a problem not only for the people living in nickel, but also for the nature around uh, in the border areas between Norway and uh, Russia. For 20 years, the emissions of sulfur oxide and heavy metals from this smelter in Nikel have been one of the main subjects of international environmental cooperation in the Berens region. The Nikel plant alone emits approximately 100,000 tons of sulfur oxide per year, well over 20% more than the total amount emitted by the whole of Finland each year. The big, big problem is uh, the freshwater uh, fish stocks. Uh, in the, inside the country, uh, which uh, actually is uh, so heavily polluted by uh, heavy metals that uh, people cannot eat uh, fish as often as they want. There are restrictions on uh, freshwater fi fish in this area due to the pollution from nickel. In 2003, NEFCO co-financed a study which identified a number of so-called environmental hotspots in the Russian part of the Barents region. The study, which was commissioned by the Arctic Monitoring and Assessment Program, identified the smelters in Nikel and Zapolnyarny as some of the worst hotspots in the Barents region. Nefco, the Nordic Investment Bank, NIB, and Norilsk Nickel have both been trying to find a lasting solution to this problem. As a result of these negotiations, Nickel has, by modernizing its production procedures at Nickel and Zapoljarni, managed to reduce its emissions by 70%. One of our owners, the Norwegian government, is very keen on uh, getting into touch with and contributing to the improvement of these plants. And at NEFCO we are uh, maintaining our, a relationship to Norilsk Nickel and trying to engage them in projects. But this is an ongoing discussion and it is on the uh, courtesy of and depending on the will of the huge Norilsk Nickel whether we can be able to do something together or not. Here in Mamansk, a city of some 307,000 inhabitants, NEFCO has co-financed the modernization of the local wastewater treatment plant, which has been identified as one of the region's environmental hotspots. The wastewater treatment plant in Murmansk currently treats one-third of the city's wastewater. In the near future, partly as a result of significant investment from the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development together with NEFCO, up to 70% of the city's wastewater will be treated at the plant. And this is good news for the Kola Bay. This project will provide uh, safe, clean water for the population and will reduce the, um, um, the pollutants to the Kola Bay, which is already uh, all heavily polluted by other industries, but also uh, by uh, sewage from the city, which is mainly untreated at present. In 2011, the Russian government decided to allocate 10 million euros to the Arctic Council over the next two years. The money will be spent on environmental projects in the Russian Arctic in close cooperation with NEFCO. International cooperation in the Barents region is bearing fruit.